Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this video, I'll show you how to calculate standard entropy of reaction for a given reaction where you can look up the standard molar entropy values for all of the substances involved in the reaction in a table of standard molar entropies. The specific problem you're asked to solve here is to calculate the standard entropy of reaction for the reaction shown here. Ammonia plus water giving you ammonium plus hydroxide. And you'll recognize this as an acid-base reaction. So the general formula for finding the standard entropy of reaction is as follows. You have the standard entropy of reaction being equal to the sum of the standard molar entropies of the products minus the sum of the standard molar entropies of the reactants. In this case, you have your products as ammonium and hydroxide. So what you're going to want to do is look up the standard molar entropy of ammonia in aqueous form and add that to the value for the standard molar entropy of hydroxide, also in aqueous form. And you want to subtract from that the sum of the standard molar entropy for ammonia in aqueous form plus the standard molar entropy of water as a liquid. Now a couple things before we go on and solve this problem. In these types of problems, it's important to pay attention to the subscripts. For example, in a table of standard molar entropies, which you can find in the appendix of your textbook, there are standard molar entropy values for ammonia as a gas and also ammonia in aqueous solution. In this case, you want the ammonia in aqueous solution. So make sure that you pick the right value there. And also in this problem, you can find a standard molar entropy value for water as a gas in the table, but you can also find one for water as a liquid. So in this case, you're going to want to use the standard molar entropy value for water as a liquid. The other thing I recommend you doing with this type of problem is not just to go straight away and look up the standard molar entropy values and substitute them directly into this equation. I recommend writing things out in this form first and then going and looking up the standard molar entropy values that you need to look up. And that's just because although these calculations are easy, it's easy to make mistakes when you're plugging in the numbers from the tables because there are a lot of numbers listed in these tables and you, if you accidentally pick the wrong one that can give you the wrong answer and also it can be confusing to keep the positive and negative signs straight so it's up to you but I recommend doing things this way and then once you have denoted all the standard molar entropy values that you want then you go to the table and you look them all up so what you'd find is a standard molar entropy value for ammonium in aqueous form of 113. You'd find a standard molar entropy for hydroxide in aqueous form as a negative 10.8. For ammonia in aqueous form, you'd find a value of 111. And then for water as a liquid, the value for standard molar entropy would be 69.9. So you do the math there, and all of these values are in joules per Kelvin, and what you'd end up with is negative 78.7 joules per Kelvin. And that would be your answer for the standard molar entropy for this reaction. And one more thing to note here, you always multiply the standard molar entropy values by their coefficient. In this equation, all of the coefficients are 1 for each reactant 
in each product. So you don't multiply any of the standard molar entropy values by one. I mean, technically you do, but they're just implied. But technically, all of the coefficients would appear here in, in the equation for calculating the standard entropy of reaction. So if you had coefficients other than one, you'd actually need to multiply those standard molar entropies by the coefficient from the balanced chemical equation to get the correct standard entropy of reaction. So that's it.